what is a guy? It's Flint Mod 414. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, today we're back here at Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Trip Door. At long last, it's time to talk to Roland and start the expert cup. <laughs> but before we start, yeah, I kind of slid the picture over. Look at Joey. He's like, check it out. Little Creebo put up a new episode. Nyeh. Gotta watch it. <laughs> what, what if Little Creebo does put a new episode up? Like on the day I post this, you know, in the future? That would be pretty, pretty interesting. Are you ready to rumble and duel? Yeah, Roland, let's do it, baby. All right, expert cup time. I'll lead you to the duel arena of Legendmall 14. All right, let's see who we're going to be dueling, and let's see who else here. Oh, epic music. Epic music, guys. All right, here we go. Here we go. The first quarterfinal will now begin. Flood, Rebecca Hawkins. Uh oh. Enter the dueling stage. This is it, guys. Hi, Flood. <laughs> and I have my little buddy, Teddy. I'll show you what the U.S. champion can do. Don't underestimate us. Y y you're the U.S. champion? Oh, yeah, that's my character saying that. Of course. And this is the U.S. co-champion, Teddy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? No. This is the first time I've heard about this. But I won't back down. That's my Nindo. My ninja way. Well, now you know. I want to duel a Yugi, so I'll finish you all quick. Right, Teddy. She's talking to a stuffed animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is, bro. Uh, are you ready? Because here I come. All right, baby, let's do it. Rebecca, Big Bang USA. Yeah, and I went with an interesting sort of deck idea in this one. Uh, magic Hat Trick. So, I don't know if I'll be able to show off the combo of this deck, but uh, it's a... Different deck than I normally use. Oh, here we go, guys. Oh, and look at the crowd. Everything epic music. Da, 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 da. Awesome. We're back here at the cup. Oh, we we're attributing that right away. Huh? Good thing she didn't have scapegoat tokens on the field yet. Oh, man, this means it's epic. Da, 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 da. I draw. Ooh, and maybe we will be able to show off the combo. Okay, so. This is the combo of this deck. Uh, check it out, this card right here, Magical Hats. Yeah, select two non-monster cards from your deck and one of your monster cards on the field. Then shuffle your deck, shuffle the three selected cards and put them face down in defense position. So there's some pretty funny combos you can do with this. And the cards are treated as monsters, so yeah, there's some pretty and are destroyed at the end of the battle phase. Hmm. All right, Rebecca. I've got a combo for you, so I'll set three cards. This is basically full combo with uh, Mask of Darkness, so pretty lucky for us, honestly. All right, and I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. <laughs> Ready, Teddy? I summon the Fire Princess. All right, Rebecca. Here it comes. You ready? I activate. Go. Magical hats. Protect and conceal the Mask of Darkness. <gasps> How dare you! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Well, at least I'll get Magical Hats back. Well, she had seven tools. What am I gonna do, guys? Aww. You threw off my groove, man. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, I'll take back Magical Hats. Okay, Rebecca, uh, okay. At least we snuffed that trap out of her, so... Yeah, and I just basically got that negation of her seven tools for free, basically. Yeah, another monster I put in here, Night Assailant. Pretty good. All right, so we'll set... Uh, well, uh... Yeah, we'll set Night Assailant. We'll set Night Assailant. And then I'll set a Mystery card, Rebecca. Yeah, I am my turn. Oh, whoops. I accidentally went to the battle phase. Okay. Turn end up. Go ahead, Rebecca. And man, I, lo I love the freaking here in the expert cut. Oh, what was that? Did you guys hear that? He's kind of slowed down a little bit. DD Warrior Lady. That's a pretty good card. Let's try this again. Go. Magical hats. Protect and conceal the Knights of Salem's. All right. Combo time, guys. So what we'll take is, uh, yeah, a couple cards that activate when they're destroyed, actually, such as... Uh, yeah, Dark Magicians, uh, basically, um, what you call it, uh, Magic Formula, 
And we'll also take this card, Statue of the Wicked, yeah. So when this card's destroyed, um, yeah, I get a token, a Wicked Statue token. So, kind of a funny little uh, deck, but I'm glad I got the shot of the combo at least once. Is it the best deck for the Export Cup? Probably not, but you know, it's okay. We're just gonna have a little fun. Now, what does she attack? Okay, okay. If she attacks Night Assailant, I probably will crush card. Well, no, I can just use Night Assailant's effects. Right. And so, yeah, when this card's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, check it out. We'll gain a thousand life points. Yeah, even if it's off magical hats. So, that's pretty cool. And yeah, I do have one Dark Magician in here. Oh, okay. And we get the. I guess she ended her battle phase. But with that, go! Wicked Token! I special summon you. Nice, nice. And we have Vampire Lord online, so. Yeah, that's kind of the combo of the deck. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, Rebecca, I draw. Now I'll sacrifice the token I got last turn. And well then, I'll summon the Lord of Vampires, Vampire Lord. Next, I'm gonna flip summon a monster. It's Night Assailant. And with his effect, I can destroy one of your monsters. And it was dead. Alright, and I left your warrior lady because I've got another trap for her. <laughs> now, say goodbye to all the powerful monsters in your deck. And in graveyard copycat. Uh-oh. That's not good, but anyway, I'm sure she's got scapegoat here. But let's just try to attack directly. <gasps> no! Actually, I'm not upset about that at all. Vampires keep coming back to life over and over, Rebecca. So you better watch out. Solemn Wishes, that's one of her best cards. Well, not her best, but she loves using that card. Now, I'll show you why my deck has the theme of immortality. During my standby phase, since you destroyed Vampire Lord by a card effect, well then, this monster will return to the field. Be reborn, Vampire Lord. And now I'll play a magic card. Again. So this will blow back all your spells and traps. And now that those cards are in your hand, they're right for the picking. Go Spirit Reaper. All right. It's time for Rebecca. I'm aiming for that uh, Solemn Wishes. Go. Still, sickle side. All right. Let's see what we get here, guys. <laughs> and I'm having fun. This is this is so fun. All right. Ah, uh, Solemn Wishes. Yes, we got it, guys. We get it. We did it. Vampire Lord, go! Blood the vein! Alright, and with this, I can declare a certain type of card and get rid of that card in your deck. I'll choose spell card. Yeah, get rid of that scapegoat. Get rid of that. Alright. Now, I know she has copycat, but honestly, this is good for us. We can try infecting virus. Ooh. She might play that and copycat. That would be really bad. What's she gonna target here? Probably Vampire Lord. Yeah. Okay, the good part is she did not use United We Stand. So the bad part is this thing's got 2,000 attack and we're going to take some damage. So, all right, she'll play back her face downs. That's fine. That's fine, Rebecca. Ba, 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 ba. Cyber Jar. Well, I don't think I'll be one to destroy the field. So, yeah, I think I'll keep Magician of Fate. I might want to take back Giant Trunade. That seems a little more applicable in this situation. Uh, that's just a spellcaster, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'll declare. Now, with my tribe infecting fire, Shebeka, I'll discard a card, and if I declare a spellcaster, all spellcasters are destroyed. Bye bye. Nice. Alright, Rebecca, say goodbye to that United We Stand in your hand. Oh, uh, well, you don't have any monsters. Yeah. Ah, you tried to trick me there, Rebecca, but no. I've been paying attention to the crush card virus. Yeah, get rid of that. All right, try it. Go. Ooh, that's a good card. Yeah, Gravity Bind does stop all level fours, but we got Magician of Fate. It's okay, guys. We'll get her next time. All right. Man, this was epic. Oh, she drew another monster. That's okay. This thing can attack directly, though, so watch out. All right. Done, Rebecca. This is basically her full combo. Gravity binding this thing that can attack directly. Pretty dangerous, honestly, but uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we drew a brick, like a garnet, so I'll keep it in my hand, but next turn I'll probably use, um, uh, yeah, a tribe, so. But 
the good part is she can't attack with level fours either, so or higher. So great. That's a great card. Holy crap. Um, I guess we'll see what she threw away next turn. That's crazy. She drew that right off the top, man. So first of all, I'll activate the Magician of Faith effect, Rebecca. Now, I don't have MST in the graveyard, do I? No, 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 just these two. Okay, take back Hurricane. Now it's time for me to play it again. It will. And it came. Hopefully we can hit Gravity Mine with Spirit Reaper. That's the best case scenario. Uh, what'd she throw away at Graceful Charity? Uh, I'm just curious. I don't know what this monster is, but maybe that was a good decision. We'll see. Uh, let's set this. And, uh, you know what? Oh, no, this is an aqua. Okay, I was about to say, I was going to clear that anyway, but, no, nah, I don't want to take out Tribe itself, so. All right, Tribe Infecting Virus, destroy this. I'll have Vampire Lord go into her face down, because it might have high defense. You know? I definitely want that direct attack with Spirit Reaper. Alright, Vampire Lord, you do. Lift the vein. Oh, it was Magician Faith, but you know, I had to be, make sure, you know, so. I missed out on some good damage, but it's okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, she's taking a graceful charity, that's a good call. Um, I kind of want to hit that now instead of Gravity by, but. Go, Spirit Reaper, single Zive. like the worst one we could have hit. Oh man. Oh Well, Gravity Bind's coming back, guys. Uh, well, unless you discard you a personal charity, you know. But, ah, uh, okay. Alright. So, Rebecca's gonna stall us out a little bit here. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna assume she kept Gravity Bind. Well, actually, let's check the graveyard first. Um, okay. I might as well switch Magician of Fate to Defense. Uh, she's got no cards in her hand, so, yeah. And then, um, what'd she discard? What'd she discard, Rebecca? Um, she discarded Lightning Vortex? Uh, okay. I mean, I guess she did keep Gravity Bind, but, uh, that's... That's a little questionable. I'm gonna leave this zone open, actually. And we're just gonna trigger Gravity Bind here. Yeah. So I'll just attack with Vampire Lord. Yeah, yeah. Rebecca, all right, I am my turn. This might be a, just a long episode oh, just for Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca Hawkins, no items, final destiny. Really? You summon that in attack mode? Well, I guess I can't attack, but still, that's, that's crazy. Uh, what do I have face down that I can activate? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could get in with 600 with these two. You know what? Fuck it. Silver Barrier. Mirror Force. Because, like, we know the only thing she has is Ultimate Offering, so... Oh, although, I guess, you know, Sandman will let her search, and she can use Ultimate Offering. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but, you know, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Ooh, good card. This is a level 3, so... Yeah, uh, did she discard Ultimate Offering or no? in their graveyard. Wait, no, we hit it with Spirit Reaper. Maybe she doesn't have Ultimate Offering. Okay, okay. Ancient Lamp. Attack mode. I never thought I'd be doing that, but here we are. Alright, Spirit Reaper. Magician of Faith. Go, my minions. Attack Rebecca's life points. Spirit Reaper. Oh, She had the scapegoat. I'm just going to let you keep your zones, and yeah, we'll just end the turn. I know she's got Cannon Soldier, but it's fine. I could have cleared them all out by declaring Tribe Infecting Virus. It's fine. It's fine. All right. All right. Okay, so she just put that in the fence, so another 
another face down. Okay, well, at least we know what it is. At least we know what it is. Um, I'm gonna assume that she set a uh, Spirit Reaper face down there. Uh, I mean, uh, Sinister Serpent. Okay, let's do it. I don't have any beasts, right? No. Okay, man, this is a long duel. Alright, go. Tribe Infecting Virus. So I'll discard this uh, magic formula and I'll declare beast. There it is. Beast eye. Now all beasts will be contaminated with the virus. Alright, guys. Alright, let's see if she made a 500 IQ play and set cannon soldier. I doubt it, but you know what? Let's try. Alright, Magician of Faith, get in there. Was that right? Uh, oh, I was right. Say goodbye to your cannon soldier. <laughs> nice. We, we, get, we got her, guys. We got her. Alright. And now all your sheep tokens are gone, too. Go, Ancient Lamp. And that's definitely not the purpose of this card in the game, but I am glad it's level, uh, level three or whatever. That's definitely helping us here. Alright. Yeah, I got cards that can go under Gravity Bind, Rebecca. Yeah. And now I'll get rid of your, uh, Cannon Soldier. Alright, and I guess I'll set Shrink main phase too, so. Yep. Nice. Get rid of that Cannon Soldier. Sweet. Alright, main two. I will set this card. Alright, and we'll eventually get her. We'll eventually get her. Alright, what you got, Rebecca? Okay, and she's gonna get Sinister Serpent back, but eventually we will take her down. Alright, go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's Sinister Serpent until I see a different monster, so. Alright, here we go. Ooh! Okay, the duel might be over. Deal! Let it came! Thank you, Joey. I appreciate it. Your very soul. Uh, can I get exactly zero? Probably. Vampire Lord of Kogeki. He dealt. Loot the vein. Oh, good thing I got Trunade. Holy crap. This is going to boost her life points, though. So... She might survive this turn, actually. Uh, let's see. So she's up to 3,200. Oh, am I going to be just short? Okay, Tribe, get in there. I might be just short. Uh, yeah, because these two can only do... I'm going to be 100 short. Oh, my God. Yep. Because those two can only do uh, 600 combined. Well, at least we got a lot of damage on in on her. And we cleared her high defense monster, so that's good. All right, Spirit Reaper, please, 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 please hit the gravity mine this time. I need you. Sickle side. Ba, 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 da. You can do it, Spirit Reaper. I believe in the heart of the cards. Yes. Yes. Say goodbye to Gravity Vine. <laughs> Great job, Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper MVP, baby. Yes. Okay, and I'll set the shrink, and I'll end my turn. So we know all she's got is Solemn Wishes and Sinister Serpent. We're good. Alright, what you got, Rebecca? Hot upgrade! Oh, shit. Okay, she's gonna draw two cards. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, alright. Alright, hopefully she didn't redraw her second Gravity Vine. Yeah, we know this. We know this. Okay. She's only got 100 life points, man. Come on! Alright. I'll attack with Tribe first. Okay, it was just Sinister Serpent. No gravity bind. Is she going to have scapegoats? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is she going to have scapegoat? Is she going to have it? Is she going to have it? Let's attack with Vampire Lord. Oh, she didn't have it. Yes. Yo, blew the van. Oh, man. And we won in an epic duel of epic proportions in our first Expert Cup match. Giant Trune was the savior there. Good thing I decided to add two of them to this deck. So yeah, return to hand bonus. Dang, 165 Kybercore points. Nice. Ooh, we have 666 EXP. That's bad luck. Anyway, these are match format. So, and I didn't realize Rebecca was first. So believe it or not, I'm actually gonna side in a couple cards. So let's side out Brain Control. And let's side out um, a couple of the Wicked statues and one of this. 
because I do have some cards that can help against her strategy. So I'll side out that. I'll side out two of these. And then from the side deck, I'm actually going to bring in uh, some back row hate that I have in this side deck. So we'll bring in, uh, yeah, the three dust tornadoes. Uh -huh. And we'll also bring in, I think I have Royal Decree. Ooh. Okay, let's take out one tornado and put uh, the other decree. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Definitely should help us against her. So, and I'll side out the dust. One of the dusts. There we go. Another one bites the dust. All right, and we should be good. Yeah, these are match format duels, just like the beginner cup. So it's best two of three. So you know, if you don't win in the first one, don't worry. Or if you lose in the first one, yeah, don't worry. Just, just you know, believe in the heart of the cards and try again. Da, 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 da. So yeah, this whole duel might just be Rebecca. Ah, the dog magician has chosen me. All right, and we got Jinzo. Ooh, Jinzo might go ham here. It can't stop Scapegoat, but it can't stop her gravity buying and stuff, so. And Giant True Nade's good. Check out Rebecca. I summon Dancing Fairy in a tent mode. Such a cute monster, right, Teddy? Now, my Spirit Reaper will show his invulnerability to being destroyed. All right. Only one face down. That's good. Okay. Ooh, Statue of the Wicked. Okay. I'll set this card. Okay. And I'm not going to attack yet. I'm actually going to set the other Spirit Reaper. And I'll tribute for Jinzo next turn. Yeah. All right, Rebecca. What are you going to do? <laughs> Cannon Soldier. All right. Ha! I knew you would never suspect the second Spirit Reaper, Rebecca. This is the other part of the strategy that works with magical hats. Since the cards summoned by magical hats count as monsters, yeah, you can get a bunch of monsters if you're really lucky with the combo. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's why Morphin Drop 2 is here. <laughs> I tribute my spirit reaper. Alright, and now your trap cards are useless, Rebecca. Get ready. Energy shock. I guess I should have went for a card in her hand with Spirit Reaper, but sorry. I was just so excited to summon Jinzo that I forgot. All right, Rebecca, I end my turn. Yep, my bad, guys, my bad. All right. Yeah, she's not drawing as many of her traps yet, so that's good. Uh, okay, don't really need that out. I guess I will set this in case Jinzo goes down. Uh, we can flip this face up, so... Jinzo, it's time. Good deal, Jinzo. Sight energy shock. Oh, good card, good card. All right. Yeah, yeah, this might take all episode, just Rebecca. <laughs> but it's cool, it's cool. I'm just excited for the expert cup and glad to be here. Ooh, okay. All right. But we have to be careful when attacking with Jinzo now. Unless I snipe this out of her hand. Let's see. Hopefully I'll hit that, honestly. All right, Spirit Reaper, I believe in you. Attack the DD Warrior Lady in her hand. Uh, that's also good. Yeah, Injection Fairy Lily. One of her best cards, honestly. She could have used that and then paid 2K to destroy Jinzo, so glad to see that gone. Okay, okay. Well, at least now we know DD Warrior Lady's on the field, so. All right. Is she gonna banish here, though? Probably not. Um, she did! Wow. Wow, okay. I mean, that does, I kind of understand, because she doesn't want to lose too many cards in her hand, so that's interesting, interesting. Okay, Mirror Force. I do have a lot of traps in this deck. Um, you know what? Just to increase the damage, let's summon this in attack mode. Go, Morphing Jar 2. Morphing Jar, attack, Jar Smash. Nice, no scapegoat, that's good, that's good. Speaking of scapegoat, nah, look at the guy in the thumbnail, Joey Wheeler. That's my car, what are you doing with it? Nah. All right. Oh, this 
duel's going pretty well. This duel's going pretty well. All right, I end my turn. All right, I'm gonna get a drink, guys. A morphing jar, that's crazy. I actually drew the combo, but Jinzo's negating it right now. That's crazy. Alright. See ya, ladybug. Alright. So, yeah, Rebecca's the first opponent in the Expert Cup. Who do you guys think will be the next opponent? set this card and I'll end my turn. Alright. You never know. She could play like Smashing Ground. Destroy oh. Well. Anyway. Or something to destroy Jinzo, you know. Uh, okay. Oh, we've got her on the rope. She keeps defending, so. Draw. Uh? Sure. I summon Morphing Jar in attack mode. It's Morphing Time. Battle Phase. Now get both jars out here, Rebecca. Go, Jinza. Cyber Energy Shock. Oh, man. My, one of my jars could have destroyed that. That's crazy. But, I, you know, she does have some cards with high defense, so I had to make sure. She's probably got Scapegoat by now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. That's all right. You can't stall me forever, Rebecca. Jar destroy that one. Alright, jar number two, destroy the pink one. I can't believe summoning these cards in attack mode was the right decision. Like I did I definitely didn't plan that when using this deck, but the fact that she has a gravity bind. Honestly, does help that I have some lower level monsters in this deck, you know. Wow, alright. Well, I can actually clear some of the scapegoats. Ooh, nice. With, um, uh, go Ancient Land with Lightning Vortex. And I think I'll be a little greedy here, honestly, and do it. Go Lightning Vortex. So I'll discard my Dark Magician to clear out your goats. Yeah, because with the jars and, uh, lamp, that's like. 2700 damage, so this might be worth it. I don't know. What you got? Magician of Faith. Uh, that's. Well, she can get back Scapegoat or nothing else, but she might take uh, something else. Uh, MST. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not choosing Scapegoat. Honestly, that's like the nicest thing you could have done, Rebecca. Yo, Morphing Jar! Destroy her life points. Jar number two. Attack her directly. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. All right. And go. Ancient land. Ancient attack. Da, 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 da. I end my turn, Rebecca. Let's see what you've got. All right. Another defender. Another face down. All right. Oh, we can assume that's MST, so I draw. Night of Sailor. Ooh, that's good. Okay, well, she somehow stalls this turn. Night of Sailor will basically close the match up uh, next uh, turn, so. Oh, okay, it's just another server of uh, Catabolism. Cyber Energy Shock. Genzo MVP. It's thanks to Joey, guys. We've got Joey on the right and left side. He was, he was lending us his energy. Uh, I think I can get exactly zero. Ancient Lamp, go. My wish is granted, and this duel will soon be over thanks to my ancient lamp granting my wish. Your wish is right. Oh, it's different to the night tour, night tour, Yu Gi Oh! NT, Yu Gi Oh! NT. Alright, guys. <laughs> and with that, we win the match. Alright, in a way I definitely never expected to win it, but uh, yeah, we get the match game bonus. And, uh, yeah, not bad. 182 Kybercore points. I get us over 4,000. Now, I can't believe this happened. 
there's not many people in the world who can beat me. Is that so, Rebecca? Since you beat me, you better win this tournament. He <laughs> got it. Right, Teddy? Huh? I said, got it? it yeah. <laughs> no need to be scared, silly. <laughs> Good luck. Bye, Rebecca. What's gonna happen now? It's time to the time to time for the next duel. And guys, it's time for the next duel. And next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Alright guys, who do you think it's gonna be? Leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.